day four. We end this. Welcome to day four, Saturday of our Car Week events. We're about to head to Gooding to see my boy Mike Mays doing his thing for Gooding & Co. See some auctions. Later we're gonna go and check out my boy Verone and all of the, uh, the crew out there at Exotics on Broadway. And after we're gonna go hang with friends, drink, hang out, do all those crazy things. Meanwhile, we got this 997 RS from last night. Charles brought this out from Vanquish Motors. 22, the GMG package. You guys know what time it is. Let's go. All right, all right. We're gonna jump in Chris's uh, 6.4. Chris and Charles are in the RS. And uh, me and Lloyd getting started this morning. Yo, it's your co-host right here. Y'all know me. Uh -huh. You know what time it is, bro? No zoom in on that one, well, we gotta do a analog zoom in, bro. <laughs> We just made it to Good & Co. About to see our boy Mike. I know he's busy today. He said all the Porsches were sold out yesterday, basically. So he was trying to warn me, but I was like, bro, I'm not here to see Porsches. I'm here to see you, Mike. So let's see what we got inside. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. All right, guys. There you go. And there you go. And there you go. That's the plug, baby. That's the plug. All right. Let's see what we find in here. I love all white Ferraris, but I also love all gray Ferraris, but I also love all non-red Ferraris. Thoughts? Thoughts on non-white, non-red Ferraris? Oh my God, this is amazing. Uh, it was like a Nardo, it was like a Nardo uh, yeah. Ferrari. All right, we got this 1965 911 right here, looking gorgeous. But what's most important, what's most interesting, look at this plate. Period correct. Registration tags. That's wild. All right, let's go check out the auction. Oh, I, I want that. GTO 250 started at 3 million now it's at 5.9 and looks like it's gonna end just short of six million dollars Is it gonna hit six million? Is it gonna hit six million? Let me see yes. Uh oh. Bro, we thought this car was a million dollar car. I all the We're like let's go start with a million dollars. We're in the wrong million dollars. Yeah, we're wrong. So I think it's five point nine. And, and so they're on the phone over there with the uh, people from, uh, from wherever, right from London, trying to get this car. All right, it's gonna end at six five. Do you know him? Hi. He just doesn't see me yet. We got 20 more lots to go. How many did you guys have this year? The numbering is not accurate. I believe our actual count was 137 cars. But we started 101 for day two, like no matter what. We, had, we went up to 64 yesterday. It's been a pretty good, it's been a pretty good day. Wait, we really close on these last few big lots. Yeah, that 40 didn't sell? Yeah, 40 was super close. What, what was it at? Um, it got, do you remember? 1.1? Yeah. Low estimate. Right. Whoa. Low estimate. I think the low estimate was 1.2. So it was super close. So you think the market's softening up? I mean, we've been in a little bit of a correction for the past two years. Based on what I've seen from us and RM today, I think it's still correcting. Yeah. I think the right cars still bring good money, but like we sold the Cal Spider for a lot of money. RM sold the F1, you know, LM yeah. spent McLaren. That was at 18 million. Right. 18. You were expecting 22 maybe? Right, right, right. So that was a little bit lower than there. But it's still, it's a little softer than it was in like 2015, 2016. Yeah, yeah. So 
we're done with uh, Gooding and Co. Mike, thank you for always showing us and hosting us a good time. We're out here, we're gonna go check out a Mugen CRX. It looks like an OG one. So uh, hold on for that. So we basically saw this photo right here and we want to know how old this photo was. So this looks like it's probably original Pebble Beach. When we got close to look for evidence of how old this, this photo is, check out this sign. European sports cars under 2,500 bucks. <laughs> That's crazy. So we entered the JDM sector. Look at this Haka right here. Yes. You can get a ride. That R right there, that's probably worth like 300 bucks. Nah, bro, put it on the chain. Put it on the chain. <laughs> 71 FC, more Hakos. GTXs, GTSs. I gotta say, Infinity, they did it well here. They have other brands besides Infinity also. There's an NSX over there. All right, let's do this one by one. Cosmo. Look, they got a Toyota. That's worth hella money. That's why it's on a platform. I didn't know they made a uh, coupe. Look at that. It looks very European. But I gotta say, probably all of Car Week, the Infinity display has probably been the best. It's really cool that they didn't just bring out Infinities, they brought out Toyotas, Hondas, Mazdas, Infinities, old Datsuns. We're about to go look at this uh, Mugen CRX, but for sure, Infinity had the best display of cars, at least for me. Hey, yo, the fuel tank. It's literally a tank. Oh, shit. Or, oh my gosh. That's wild. Honda F1 with the new plate. Damn, this is, this is registered. That car. Oh, someone's oh. driving it. 2020, dude. They're both registered. Wow, it's probably owned by the same guy. That is so cool. This is a 91 Mazda Miata. This is probably the cleanest Miata I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Super, super clean. And it looks all factory too. Very, very nice. Thoughts in Fair Lady right here. Super clean. Another Fair Lady, I've never seen this one. So many cool cars here. Yeah, look at this wagon. Taking a little break from everything else, shooting some cars. Check out the shirt. Vintage, man. Vintage, bro. Sure, bro. Damn, look at Chris looking like a watch right now. Damn, Damn I gotta zoom in on him. Here doing Tinder portraits. <laughs> this is a good business. Bring out the RS, do Tinder portraits. Dang, with that hair though. All right, keep going. Again, again. We're getting it. We're getting it. Let's go. Tinder photos. Oh my god. Oh. Man, super nice. Water to air. Yeah, from, from stiff RF to super light clutch now. Make sure you're in sport mode! Just leave your gear behind, no worries. Left, 
left, left, left, left. Come straight, cut to the right a little bit. Cool little spot. Chris, cut it. Roll up the windows. Beautiful area, there's a doe back there. Super nice. Let's get it. So, this is the ghost phantom tree forest. I was told, I don't know. Seems like it. At night, it seems really creepy. Um, yeah, there's a big security camera on this tree right there. Booyah. We uh, are in the forest. The chateau hunting the wild 911. Man, Sunday morning, it's almost, it's almost afternoon. We stayed up till 4 a.m. last night, Fourth. playing some games, talking, conversations. Amanda and Mitch aren't here and they're out working, living their dream life, right? Mm -hmm. So where'd you take them? Laguna so Seca? yeah, we ended up going to Laguna Seca, which was well, they actually let me in. So they dropped her off and I may have went around to pick something up. <laughs> <laughs> They're up there, of course, too, taking care of business, so. Uh, Hell yeah. Man, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm. Man, it just, we had so much that went on. I actually like the pace that we did. We didn't like try to go to every single event because that's almost impossible. <laughs> you know, I think we kind of maybe had a focus per day and we'll go in and, and find something that we wanted to do and then kind of lounge and hung out with friends and ate dinner. Oh, yeah. And that's what it's really about, you know? Car week, just hanging out with friends. You know, and if you're not plugged in coming up here, then you need to get connected, you know, and just meet the right people. And you know, at the end of the day, to me, it was just hanging out with buddies. That's that's what it was about for me. Cars was just a secondary thing. But what was your favorite event this whole weekend? Um, Korean barbecue. Nah, <laughs> no, no, no. That's definitely at the top of the list. Uh, Korean barbecue was pretty bomb. To me, you know what? I think following up Korean barbecue was just hanging out in the liquor store front in oh, the yeah. front end, just yeah. with an RS. It's just like so random, and people in the neighborhood are probably looking at us too. They're like, oh, yeah. the hell is that <laughs> expensive as Porsche right there? And I think really those those small moments, hanging at your pad, you inviting us over here, having Amanda and Mitch here, and Lloyd, and just all of us just cramped into, actually it wasn't cramped because it was a lot of space, <laughs> but the fact that we were like kind of in close quarters, the fact that I was snoring like a bear, but we all... <laughs> Like a jet, bro, like a jet. <laughs> like a jet, so I think those are the fondest memories. I think when we go back, you know, it's just always those small things we'll remember that made this year special. And overall, I can have, I have asked for anything better. You know, getting stuck inside a small motel would have been terrible. You know how it is, you go there and you just, yeah. You just feel numb to everything and then you just kind of go to the events and you don't feel like you're connected. And I think with the home base here, you know, you can lounge out and have a conversation with friends and um, and just feel like you're a part of something bigger. Okay. That's what it's about. Yeah. Chris, hey, bro. love you, bro. Likewise. Welcome. I guess nice explore, man. And then oh, we yeah. drove it around 17 Mile Road. That's, that's it, man. That's it for me. So, yeah.